How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to download the public HTML file or folder from your cPanel. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple as all of the features and integrations are built into cPanel. So right away, you, you should see a backup option or tab under your cPanel application. So um, with that out of the way, let's begin. So the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to log into your cPanel account and you want to make sure that you're logged in as an administrator. So I don't actually have the app, although I have some illustrations showing you guys just how to do it. So once you guys have um, have your cPanel application opened, what you'd want to do is head on over to the file manager tab. So the file manager tab looks a bit like this. So to show you guys what I mean. So you basically want to follow this path right here. So it goes files, file manager, and it should show it should bring up a list of all of the um, files that have to do with your domain or database. So from here, you'd want to look for public HTML. So right away, you'll see it here uh, in the list. So what you would want to do is right click on it and compress the file to actually um, uh, make it downloadable or turn it into a down downloadable format. And to do so, it's quite simple. Simply click on compress and here you get to choose the format. So um, a new window will pop up once you select compress. So there's a zip file, there's a tar file, gzip file, bzip to uh, two squared file or two ed fi tar file, whatever. So um, the most common one is zip file. So I would go for zip file here. So you want to click on it, make sure it's highlighted and compress files. Now a new copy of the public HTML file will appear in your directory. So it looks like this. So it's the one that says .zip. Now this is important. You wanna make sure that you get the .zip version and not the basic version that the website is using. So once it appears on the list, you wanna right click on it or you wanna simply um, click on download. So those are the two ways. Um, right click on it, download. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Here it is. You wanna highlight it, download, or you wanna highlight it and click on download. So um, once you guys do that, you should have a copy of the public HTML and zip form in your PC as a backup. So yeah, there you guys, uh, there you guys go. That's how you do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.